Alright guys, welcome back to an, another video of Reelin. Uh, today we're going to be trying some Bonita, um, or Bobo, or um, what, was, what, was, what was the other name? False Albacore. False Albacore. Um, usually people don't eat these, uh, they're usually meant for like shark bait and stuff. They are super bloody. Uh, yeah, so we thought that we'd just give it a try and show you like what the meat looks like cooked and uh, pretty much, yeah, and pretty much review it. So, stay tuned. Feels like I'm in a video game. All right, so I'm not really sure the correct way how to fillet this, but I'm gonna fillet it like a regular fish. Oh, that is a rib cage right there. And just like that. Peel that off. So, as you can see, there's a lot of blood on this. Alright, now since I filleted it, here is one of those fillets. What I'm going to do is take the ribs out of it. So all I'm doing, take the ribs out. Just like that. The ribs, we don't need that. Then there, I can feel them. There's bones all through down the middle. I'm just going to take, let me just cut that, and then cut this side. Alright, so, as you can see the difference in meat right there, you can see all the blood, there's like a blood vein right there, and then you can see the good meat, so I'm going to separate the blood out of there, because I don't want to eat that blood. Alright, so here's that. There's still some more blood on there. Take that off. You can see that pretty meat. Not pretty, but this whole bloodline right here. You don't want. see to me that looks pretty good almost like tuna meat maybe a little bit darker I don't know so throw that over there all right guys so now since we cleaned basically all the nasty part up we're just gonna skin it so you just have something to hold on to flip it like that We don't want the fillets too thick or it won't, I don't think it will pan fry very great, but there's the f fillet. Alright, so we're just going to basically do this the same way we did the mullet, uh, pan frying it, so. Alright, that's going. Let's go about medium heat. Grab butter, this time, not too much. Alright. So, alright, <laughs> that much. Perfect. Alright, now we just gotta let that melt in the pan. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so we got our Tony's right here, Tony's seasoning, and some lemon. I'm just gonna put some lemon. Let's smother this in here. Put that yeah, on both sides. Let me just take it more. Not too much. Get our Tony's. It's for both sides. Mix it in there with the lemon. Move a little bit. Wanna set it like that? Yeah, right. Put that one in. Then this is a big chunk of bonita. This is like one quarter of a fish, not even half of a fish. Yeah, basically. So, so we're gonna leave that in there for like how long? Alright you guys, we have left it for like a minute. And I think it should be ready. Oh, look at that. That was perfect. We might have to cook this on three sides. <laughs> but that right there isn't looking too bad. Yeah. So, just gonna leave that right there for a little bit. Alright, guys, so we have finally cooked these. On both sides. You can see that one turned out pretty good. Now this one. That. Now this one. Alright you guys, so as you can see, this is the bonita we have here. This is the first time for me or Brian to yeah, try this. Definitely. Like, never tried it before. Actually, we gotta make sure that thick piece is... Yeah, this, this meat's a little bit tender. Let me see. It looks cooked all the way through. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Alright, now let's put some lemon on top of it. Yeah, go for it. Alright, just like that. That's what it looks like. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Alright, definitely different than a uh, mullet. Definitely. This meat looks a little bit darker too. Yeah. Alright, let's both take a bite on the count of three. <laughs> I'm scared. One, <laughs> two. <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Like not bad. Um, I wouldn't say it smells the best. Like it doesn't smell too bad, but it tastes pretty good. I would say. A little tender. I would definitely prefer mullet. <laughs> mullet or Spanish. Spanish mackerel. <laughs> but not that bad. All right, Kyle. So we got you up here right now. This is my little brother, Kyle. Cause you're gonna try a piece of this bonita. <laughs> this is the first time trying it. All right, so <laughs> get a little piece, give us your honest opinion, and then rate it on a scale of one through 10. That's actually really good. Yeah. So what do you rate it? Ooh. One to 10. It's a solid eight. <laughs> Solid eight. All right. Well, well, you heard the little man. Here. That's a solid eight right there, boys. All right, let's try it. Well, Brian, what would you give it? I would give it seven and a half to eight. Um, I would have to go with an eight as well. It's just um, a little bit too too tender for me. Um, I, I kind of like it a little bit soft, where like like a little bit like melting in my mouth. But are right, you guys? This is my dog. He is going to be taste testing also. See what he thinks about it. There he goes. He swallowed it. Uh, now one more little piece. Let's see what he thinks about it. So he went and ate it again. So. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. So he likes it. All right, Wicket. So what do you think about this fish? On a scale of one to ten. All right, guys. Well, well, you, well, you, you heard him. All right, guys. Well, well, that concludes the taste test video on the bonito. Uh, we will. We're gonna try to make a series about it. Uh, we're gonna go out and try to catch uh, pinfish, croaker, lizard fish. You know, all, all those, all those saltwater fishes that usually people won't try. Um, 
So don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And uh, and uh, can't wait to see you on uh, the next video or something like that. <laughs>